What's up? My name is Alex, DJ Couch King, and welcome back to my free music production course in Ableton Live 10. In episode one, I talked about choosing the right version of Ableton Live. This is episode two, so if you haven't checked out episode one yet, I'll put a link to it in the description below. In this episode, I'll be talking about how to use a really powerful tool, and that's the built-in lessons inside Ableton Live, so you can learn quickly and at your own pace. <laughs> Okay, here we are inside Ableton Live. You'll notice when you first open Ableton Live, there's the sidebar on the right-hand side that has all of the built-in lessons in it. Now, if you've had Ableton Live for a while and when you open it, this doesn't appear, don't worry. It's really easy to get to. You just come up to Help and click on Help View, and that will open this up. So the first one is What's New in Live 10? And this is there for people who have upgraded and really want to know what they just spent all their money on. So if you click on that, this is gonna give you a good idea of what all the new features are, what's been added since Ableton Live 9. If you're inside this window and you wanna get back to the main window, just come up to the top right and click on this little home button right here. That will take you right back to the main menu. So let me just walk through a little bit of the first lesson with you, just so you have a good understanding of exactly how this works. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a tour of live. And what that's going to do is open up this first page. It says, welcome to live. This lesson is intended to help you get started with the program. Rather than covering live's feature set in its entirety, we will introduce some basic terms and walk you through live's working environment. So what they're telling you is this isn't gonna teach you everything, but it's gonna give you a pretty good understanding of how it works. So there's no videos or anything like that. What this is going to do is have you read through the steps. There's gonna be some screenshots and it'll just try to have you follow along with the text to teach you how to use the program. This isn't necessarily the best way for everyone to learn. Some people learn better from watching videos. If that's the case, I got you covered. I just wanted to go over this so you know it's there and so that you understand that this is a really good place to start just so you kind of understand the layout of the software and some of the terminology and, and names of the different parts of it. So let's move on. Down here you will see some text that says live documents are known as live sets. This lesson is accompanied by a live set which you'll be interacting with as you follow the lesson. Whenever you're ready, please click here to load the live set. And when it says click here, it literally means click right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. This opened up an Ableton Live project, or set as they are calling it, and it's got a bunch of instruments and a whole song pretty much laid out. So let's go ahead and click on the next page button. The arrangement view is Live's multi-track recording and editing environment. If you've used any other multi-track recording software before, this view probably looks very familiar. Hooray, a da! Time is represented horizontally while tracks are stacked vertically. So. Again, if you're familiar with Logic or Pro Tools or something else, what they're basically saying is this is the view you wanna work in because you'll feel right at home. And anyway, as we walk through these lessons, it's going to show us these screenshots as we're seeing here and give us a list of instructions. Just for example here, it says to move the view backward or forward or to zoom in and out, grab the beat time ruler with the mouse and drag it left or right or up or down. Okay, yay, let's do that. Ooh, wee, yeah, zoom in, zoom out, moving left and right. Okay, cool, that was fun. What's next? Vertical mouse movements in the arrangement view, zoom in and out, horizontal movements, scroll left and right. This works on any beat time ruler in any of Live's views. When they're talking about the other views, they're talking about the clip editor, so on and so forth. So anyway, I think you kind of get the idea. Just follow along with these instructions. This is a really good place for you to start if you're totally new to the software and will help you, even if you're watching video tutorials, kind of understand the layout and understand the terminology, the vocabulary, and what some of these different parts of the software are called. But if you're still confused, if you have any questions about this, feel free to holler at me in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for checking this video out. If you like this video and you learned something from it, make sure to hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you can get these videos right as they're coming out. If you'd like to support the channel, there's a bunch of links to the gear that I use in my studio and the gear that I use to make these videos in the description below. And if you decide to buy some of that gear, I will make a little bit of a commission off the sale and I appreciate your support. Stay tuned for episode three coming out soon.